Shit! I didn't expect the marker to be broken. I forgot something. Support small magical girl businesses. If you don't, I'll like spit in your cereal or whatever. Beware. Magilumiere is finally on paperback. Because now that it's on paperback, I finally have proof that it's real and I haven't been hallucinating it this whole time. Magilumiere is a wonderful manga uh, that started back at the tail end of 2021 and I've been reading for almost two years now uh, through Manga Plus. It's up to 105 chapters now at the time of recording and it's just wonderful. Uh, I'm someone who's like a huge sucker for like the kind of cutesy uh, magical girl stuff. I loved Tokyo Mew Mew, but, but this is actually just a more mature like shonen-esque seinen, a fun you know, more, more general, older audience oriented take on Magical Girls. Magical Lumiere is a sort of, how do I say, corporate? Not corporate, but like, the, the Magical Girls are, they work for businesses and their powers are fueled by like, technology. These, the Magical Girls actually deal with calamities that actually harm the overall world and um there's economic competition in the magical girl business it's a more a uh, older audience oriented take on magical girls and it's incredibly charming um the lead character kana is one of my favorite lead protagonists in all of manga right now hands down um this that's just a personal opinion of mine but she's incredibly charming, incredibly relatable, and I think she's just a really fun character to have as the protagonist because she works so well with all the different characters around her. She's not a huge personality, but because of that, she makes the huge personalities around her really shine. And it also simultaneously puts an emphasis on her growth as a character. So the, essentially the premise is Kana is a girl who is just out of college. She's struggling to find a job. She hasn't, she doesn't have any skills in particular, but she is very good at keeping herself together and keeping others together and making rational decisions. Uh, she's just a very collected person. So, which I'm not. Without any skills in particular, she runs, she eventually gets an interview at a startup magical girl company. And she, she, you know, she's just like any other Japanese girl. She grew up watching magical girl shows as a kid and always thought they were inspiring like their you know their uh positive attitudes uh the, the optimism along with like the uh, the will to you know never give up and do some good in the world and when she interviews with the startup Magic Lumiere, she gets hired unexpectedly and all of a sudden she finds a found family and you know a, a, a job she really loves and where she is able to put her skills to use and work with a lot of other endearing characters who all have their own unique skill sets and provide something uh, different to the situations and can always help her do her best, inspire her, motivate her, um, while she does the same for everybody else. And she's also going on like these, um, what do you call them, internships? She like, you know, she goes to other companies to like, uh, spot s somebody or whatever um, She's interact always interacting with a girl from a, like a very corrupted uh, Big magical girl company. That's like the head of the industry But there's this like one girl who at, at the forefront of that like kind of taking the spotlight who's not s Super sold on the uh, the business practices of her company and so she's making a positive impact on Connor's making a positive impact on that girl's life. Classic thing, like even though there's rivals in the business per se, her like very honest, charming sweetness comes across and she tries to make friends with everyone because she just wants to do good in the world and there's not a lot of people out there in the magical girl business. There's a lot of corporate uh corporate uh 
c corruption, a lot of corporate corruption in the magical girl industry that's really fucked up and she's trying to do her best. The whole the whole startup, Magic Lumiere, the, the business, they're trying to do their best against uh, just to do some good in the world, right? Because they're a startup, they're trying to, uh, you know, push the envelope, really push the limits of magical girl technology and, um, and uh, d just do some, have some... Uh, Positive, have a positive impact on the world and is really charming. I think all the characters are wonderful. Um, there's great backstory later on. There's it's just fun all around. There's a lot of like kind of twists and turns you're not really expecting. It's simultaneously this like very cute, wholesome magical girl thing where these characters are like inspired by magical girl TV shows and from their childhood to become magical girls as adults and like have a positive impact on the planet um, and, and you know, have a positive impact on their communities and stuff. And all the characters' motivations are really good. It makes sense. It's just a fun read. I think the characters are really charming. The world is really interesting. The, uh, the plot progression is not too fast or too slow paced. Here's something I keep thinking about while I try to, as I try to explain this. There's a quote from the back of this volume from the author where he says, This manga came about because I thought it would be funny if a middle-aged guy in a dress was like the head of a magical girl squad. And all of a sudden it became this this whole manga um, with, you know, with really charming characters and an interesting world and good, like good character growth you know it's just it's a bit silly in concept but that's what makes it great like it's it's not afraid to be a bit silly but at its core it's still really charming and the characters like just make it work I, i'm not very good at explaining this kind of thing but i'm telling you if you like if you like a good casual fun read that's still gonna catch your interest, make you invested in the plot, and still has some very good world building with some good charming characters along the way, good sense of humor, this is it. Magic Lumiere is so fun. Like I said, I cannot recommend Magic Lumiere enough. If you want something cute and fun to read, I cannot recommend it enough. It is so much fun, so cute, so sweet, uh, and it's got a good plot to boot. It's actually really interesting. You, I think you'll find it surprising how deep the uh, the world building goes in this. So it's pretty fleshed out and um, it looks like it'll go for at least another year or two from here. Also, I totally forgot to mention, Magic Lumiere has an anime uh, confirmed coming out in October of this year. So if you're not a manga person, the anime is coming out very soon, so definitely recommend that as well. Um, it looks like it's going to be very cute. I like the voice cast, so uh, drop in on it uh, come October. It's going to be it's going to be fun. I have loved it for two years since I started reading it. It is a absolute delight. It is so much fun. Uh, it is one of the like uh, it's like one of the very few chapters I'm so excited to read every week. It's like ah, oh, Magic Lumiere, yay! Like. It puts a big old goofy smile on my face. I like it. It's just a great manga. So pick up volume one if you're interested or read on Manga Plus. It's free. You can get the app or whatever. Um, but Viz is publishing it now. Uh, so get it through Viz. It is wonderful. I cannot recommend Magic Lumiere enough. That's it. I mean, that, that's it. That's all I have to say. Read it. Mwah. Okay. <laughs>